we're here at um, Mowbray Park Farm today. What day is it today? Farm day. Farm day. Well, g'day guys, and welcome back to another episode. Now, before we get into this one, we want to let you know about a giveaway that we're running. It's to celebrate us hitting 4,000 subscribers last week. That is a massive milestone for us. On our YouTube? Yep, absolutely stoked about that. Yes, so thank you all for all your support so far. We really appreciate it. And to show our appreciation, yeah, we're doing a little giveaway. So what it'll be is we're giving away $400 of gift vouchers. So 200 for Anaconda and 200 for Big Fours. So you can go get something for your holiday and book a holiday. Yep, weekend away or something. Now this giveaway is based off Instagram, so if you head over to our Instagram, which is now or never underscore Oz, uh, click on the post that has the giveaway details and enter. Simple as that. We'll announce the winner in two weeks time on our Instagram and you can enter as many times as you'd like. Yep. So yeah, all the details on how to enter are over at our Instagram page. Head on over there and get, a, get amongst it. Alright, so moving day again. It always comes around so quickly sometimes. It does, three nights. Mm. It's not long. We're a bit dusty this morning after the grassy knoll visit yesterday. A bit. Mm. Speak very. yourself, I'm very dusty. Yeah, some of us are very dusty. Um, but yeah, so we just got to get back up that big bull eye bypass, bypass now. Bull and it's bull eye pass, or bull eye pass. Like yeah, it's like a massive. If you remember it from the way in, it was really steep, so now we've got to get back up that, so. We're going slow. Yeah, real slow. It's not going so bad so far, but no, it's, it's um, I don't think we've hit the steepest part yet, <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Luckily, there's an overtaking lane, so we're not holding heaps of people up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we won't be those people. Um, Lucky enough to meet some awesome people again yesterday. We've been really awesome. Awesome. <laughs> lucky enough to meet some awesome people yesterday. Um, we've been really lucky meeting people. Hey. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, we've met like heaps of cool families. So a couple of them we're organising to meet up with hopefully around the place. We all seem to be roughly on the same timeline. So Yeah, doing the lap as well, these guys, we should say. Yeah, definitely. Um, so hopefully we can catch up with them around the place. It'd be awesome. Yeah, we're meeting heaps of people already. Yeah, it's really good. I was a bit worried that, you know, it wouldn't be as easy as it has been. So yeah. stoked, stoked with that. I hope they just didn't judge me too hard because I was so drunk <laughs> last night. <laughs> so it was plenty of beers deep last night. Uh, so. <laughs> anyway. Oh, well, it's going to happen. We it all is the party regrets. season. <laughs> So we're here at um, Mowbray Park Farm Stay. Um, super peaceful little location, it's really nice. It's pretty much just us. We got this whole oh. view ourselves. It's like a 200 year old farmhouse kind of set up. It's pretty cool. So there's a lot of history here apparently. And they've got two dogs and one of them's just run up, run up here to check us out and kids are loving having a pat and it was just happy chilling there with them for a bit. Beautiful dog.
love it. Eddie Vedder, he's just like ridiculously talented. Everything you want from there. No, I wouldn't say he's attractive, but he can sing. <laughs> I reckon he's pretty attractive. <laughs> anyway, not about Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, if you're watching, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> he's not watching. <laughs> not yet. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Have a look at this. What a view. This is our first sort of just random anywhere kind of camp, you'd call it. Liking it. Being away from people. Not that we don't like people, but you know, you've been, we've been in caravan parks pretty much since we yeah. left. So just nice to have a bit of space, be on our own. I mean, there's people in the lodges down there, but yeah, just do what we want here, really. Mm, you don't feel like there's other people around. No, 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 it feels like just us. And like that view, that's awesome. Definitely worse views out there. But um, yeah, this hangover's nearly gone. <laughs> I've struggled most of the day. We all ended up just laying in the van. For watching, a good couple of hours. Watching Lano and Woodley. I had a good snooze. I'm feeling all right now. Finally. Mm. Just in time for our farm day tomorrow, mm. which the kids are so excited about. So am I. <laughs> That's all I got. The kids are so excited. They've laid out their clothes already. They want to have their uh, Kubra style hats on. They reckon that's like your farmyard. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah, they've got their jeans picked out. And they've, yeah, they've got it all laid out, ready to go. And Toby's already said that he's going to wake us up with it's farm day. It's farm day. So oh, please don't. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty excited. It's pretty cute. Can't wait to see the cows. And they've already pat the dog, so they're stoked about that. <coughs> it's been awesome so far. What day is it today? Uh, farm day. Farm day. Yay. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so that was a, a pretty awesome spot to sleep last night. Mm -hmm. Just no noise at all. Mozzies though. Yeah, we I had don't a know how they're getting in. Bit of a mozzie infestation at about 2 a.m. <laughs> Just woke up scratching like we're in a mental ward. I got bit on my face in the middle of the night. Yep, yeah. we all and got I bitten. Wake up. I had a buzzing around my ears. The funny thing, I didn't wake up. But today's the day that the kids have been talking about for the last week. <laughs> it is farm day. We're just making our way down now. See those people that are late, probably. <laughs> yeah, we're literally 50 meters away from it and we're the last ones rocking up. <laughs> What are their names, Beth? Pearl and Archer. Beautiful, Beth. We are bong next shape. Thank you. 
be aware there's three things that come out the back and only one of them is a foot. <laughs> and the other two are the probably worst two options. <laughs> Toby, you're right, mate. Come on, we're trying. Oh. 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 There you go. Okay, you want to go again? I booked it for her birthday. So lift up, squeeze the top, don't let the top go. And then start squeezing down. There you go. Good job. Good work. There you are. What's your name? Toby. Said, really, I'm Toby. And then you can climb up on that yellow box. That's it. And here's where you want to go to him. Fantastic, Toby. All the way up. Good work, mate. All right. What I want you to do is keep your chin up, looking straight ahead. Got nice balance, and up we go. All right, so come on, Tilly. How's that? Good? <laughs> Your <laughs> yeah. 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 Taking a while, isn't it? Make sure we don't burn it. <laughs> you guys do a good job cooking them? Yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> you left me to cook it all. Oh, a bit of golden syrup. How's yours, mate? Good. It's full of golden syrup. So this behind us here is the Picton Viaduct, the old bridge, uh, railway bridge running through Picton. Built in 1860-something, I looked up. 1863. Unbelievable. It's all made out of sandstone. And we're going to walk up underneath it a little bit closer, but we went up the top and went under there. And it's so amazing to see. And um, the kids were asking, is it still used? And I'm laughing, going, no, nah, nah, it's, it's so old. This is, isn't that a used bridge? And then a train goes past. So, yeah, they still use it. Crazy, like, how'd they build this back in the day? It's unbelievable. It's just incredible. I can't believe they built this, you know, so long ago with nothing. Bare hands. Unbelievable. I'm gonna have to do some more research, find out a bit more. That's another train going over it now. So cool. Looks like it's mainly coal trains. I don't know if it's just used for industry out here or not. Awesome. So apparently just behind us here too, in the 30s, was dammed and turned into a public swimming pool. There's a photo of it up there. 
heaps of people hanging there. Yeah. It's just so different. Like back then, that would have been the spot. The whole town would have come down. Yeah, it's crazy. That's how they made pools. Mm. <laughs> but um, you can't really see it anymore. They've, they've tried to plant it out, so that's just turning it back more into a nature reserve. But you can see a little bit of the remains. It's very yeah, cool. It's pretty cool to see. Good morning. It is our last morning here on the farm. Uh, last night was pretty hectic. <laughs> we had a big, massive storm roll in, um, probably about 10 o'clock. And we were rushing to get the awning and stuff down because it was absolutely blowing a gale. I was packing it, I was so scared. Thankfully, Tobes was asleep, but Bella was awake and she was like, oh, what's that noise? Because they told us on the Thursday, just gone, there was a massive storm here and it actually blew a roof off and there's still some like trees falling around the place and everything so I was hoping we just weren't going to get one like that. Thankfully it wasn't too destructive. Nothing happened to our band, we were all good because we wound the awning in and everything like that. The wind coming through that vent above Alex's head, it was hectic, it was yeah blowing through there. And then I came out this morning and the chairs have blown halfway down the paddock. I'll give you a look at that. So there used to be two chairs here. That's one there. And the other one is down. I don't know if you can see that. All the way down there. So yeah, quite windy. Thankfully, as I said, everything's good. So the storm that rolled through here would have been oh, four or five days ago. Knocked down that part of the tree and they just stood this shed back up. But this is how rough it was last night. Oh, because that shed blew away. Yeah, like Aaron said, that shed blew away pretty much or lent right over. And now more of this tree fell over last night. So pretty bloody lucky that we did roll in the awning. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. I was telling Aaron it was going to be fine. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. And then there was so much air blowing in through the one little vent in the van that's for gas. It was just howling through there. And right I just, next to Alex's ear, you got yeah. to... <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, oh, bloody hell, I better pull this awning in or I'm going to, I'm going to regret this in the morning. I wonder what those birds are that make the um, checkout scanning noise. Those ones. I'm gonna have to look into that. Intrigued to know now. This is real nice out here. Just a real change of pace. Nice and relaxing, no one else around. Kids are loving just having to paddle around. Nothing that can hurt them out here too. It's nice. So we're just leaving the farm. It's a little bit sketchy getting out. I don't know how we're gonna go. It's a little bit tight and there's a bit of a steepish hill. So we'll see how we go. <laughs>
absolutely fine. Like a pro. Now you better stop and let me in. We are in Goulburn. We're just driving along the road and we see this New South Wales Rail Museum. Did you check out the bloody size of this thing? Goulburn's way bigger than I thought.